Paul Honeyman, I'm the Vice President of Global Innovation for Doosan Bobcat. Um, so here today to talk about our all-electric uh, T76 loader. This is the world's first completely electric, no hydraulic system, um, compact track loader. And, and the reason why we went all-electric on this machine uh, was to really push the envelope of electrification. There's a lot of companies showing, as well as we are, uh, kind of uh, hybrid or combined machines that has a battery pack driving hydraulics. We felt like it was important to take it to the next step and remove the hydraulics to really gain some efficiencies with electric components. So the cylinders here have been replaced with uh, electric actuators, and these are ball screw actuators that actually come out of the aircraft industry uh, from the company that we're working with. And that's what enables the uh, tilt, the lift, and the other functions of the, uh, of the machine. And because it's all electric, there's uh, a number of efficiency gains that we get compared to electric hydraulic kind of machine. And so we're able to uh, look at those. And part of what we're doing here is we're showing this as a prototype. And we're going to get this out with customers here later this year gather a bunch of feedback, understand duty cycle, does it really fit their uh, applications, and uh, you know, just find out what people think and talk, talk about it. Electrification's been around for uh, actually a long time. It just in recent years, it's become a lot more affordable, and that's really because of the automotive industry's move towards electrification. And let's be honest, Tesla. Tesla has made electrification popular in automotive, and that means Everyone has a now a common exposure and frame of reference that, hey, maybe isn't so bad. It's actually a positive you know, image. And so it only made sense for us to think about and pursue for our customers electrification as well. And so we have a couple different variants of electrification that we've showed here. But as automotive continues to drive down the price of batteries, as well as improves battery management, it's going to continue to make it more affordable for our equipment. So it just makes sense for us to begin to think about it. We're the innovators in compact equipment, and so this is the next phase that we want to get into. You know, there's certainly certain applications that benefit from electric. Interior demolition, interior types of jobs, you know, whether it's specialty, like if you're in a mine or a plant or a mill, those come to mind. But we also think because of the efficiency gains, the quietness, the lack of maintenance, all those things would benefit all kinds of customers. And at the show this week, we started to hear from certain customers that are talking about those things to use machines in their more common applications or in everyday construction applications. So it made me really realize, hey, we're on the right path because it's connecting with people who are thinking about it. It's going to take time for this to get into our lineup, but we're going to slowly do that. We're going to bring these out. Uh, we're going to continue to test it. It has to have the same capabilities and reliability of our current equipment. There's, this, there's, no, there's no compromise that we do on that, but I think there's going to be early adopters who can help us on that journey, and slowly in certain categories, we're going to see an increase in electrified vehicles. And you know, I think in some categories, some of the smaller categories, they will become all electric at some point in time in the future that we, we would feel.